What are the key elements to consider when arranging a looping song in Ableton? Well, I have a framework that I use for every single song that I loop in Ableton, and it, it goes like this. Number one, song choice. The choice of song is quite important because some songs lend themselves to looping better than others. Number two, active listening and active watching. So if you want to get a really good arrangement, you need to listen to the song quite a bit first. So I like to listen to the original song and I go onto YouTube and I watch a number of cover versions of the song, especially if there's anyone that's done a looping version and that really gets you in tune with how the song works. Number three, gather materials. So what I then do is I get the lyrics, the chord sequences and anything else that's useful about the song and saved down to a Google Doc. So I've got access to it at all times. Four, plan and arrange. What I then do is I take all the information that I've got and I think about how I want the song to start, how I want the song to end, and I will literally plan that out in Ableton and make a complete version of the song with all the MIDI triggers that I need to start the loopers and stop the loopers. Five, play and evolve. It's likely that first arrangement of mine is a bit weak in some areas, so I will firstly play that song back to myself and record it and listen to how it sounds, and then I will write down on a bit of paper everything I want to change about that, and then I'll go back in and re rearrange the song, play it back, so it's an iterative process. Six, practice and refine. So once I've got final song, I will then practice it. And I always say to my um, viewers that try and practice the song at least 10 times before you take it live. I am open to making tweaks um, to the arrangement at this stage, but really they're minor tweaks about maybe a little bit of a level of how loud the looper is or whether the exact effect is working, but it really is tweaking at this stage. And then the final seventh step is perform live. Every song that you arrange, you really do need to make sure you play it live because that's when you really get the feedback around how it's sounding. 